It's hard to imagine the Mission Impossible franchise without Tom Cruise at the helm. But thanks to a wave of drama in the actor's personal life combined with a rise in MCU actor Jeremy Renner's action film career, that was nearly the case. Here's how Tom Cruise almost lost his leading role to Jeremy Renner. Okay. It was planned by the franchise writers and producers that following the 2011 installment of the Mission Impossible franchise Ghost Protocol, Tom Cruise would take a step back from the leading role and would potentially return in the following films as a secondary character. And it wasn't because Tom needed a break. I know I've done some wild things. I'm jumping out a window! It was actually because of off-screen drama. Thank you. The idea was that Tom would come back for the franchise, but only briefly and in order to transition his character out of the leading role. Franchise cinematographer let it slip during a podcast interview that Cruz was set to become the new IMF director. He explained, The original version of this movie was that at the end of it, Tom Cruise um, stops being Ethan Hawke the agent and becomes Ethan Hawke the secretary. Right here, right now, today. A large reason that the writers planned to phase on Tom's character was due to the actor's fraught relationship with the studio in the years prior. His marriage to Katie Holmes was taking over tabloid headlines and not always in Tom's favor. At the time, Cruz became more known for his public outbursts than for his on-screen portrayals. Jumping up and down on Oprah Winfrey's couch was just the beginning of his public downfall. Just put your manners back in. Tom Cruise's public outbursts became the drama on everyone's lips and his eccentric attitude and unhinged interviews made tabloid news. Along with his years-long Katie Holmes drama, Tom's argument over the validity of psychiatry on the Today Show was the last straw for many fans. I don't even get into that game. I'm just living my life, man. Given Tom's bad press, Paramount Pictures cut ties with the actor despite their 14-year history. Thankfully for Tom, he was able to mend his relationship with the studio in 2008, making nice with the studio head Sumner Redstone. You're just an analyst, right? The 2011 film featured action star Jeremy Renner as Ethan Hunt's protege, and due to the on-screen dynamic, many fans of the films felt that Renner was being prepared to take over as the lead in the upcoming films. Jump! Cinematographer Robert Elswit revealed that in the script that turned Cruz into the IMF secretary, it's possible another actor such as Renner would take over. Maybe it's Jeremy Renner? Who knows who it is? But as we all know, Tom Cruise continued playing Ethan Hunt in the leading role, and Jeremy Renner's character, William Brandt, hasn't been seen since the 2015 installment Rogue Nation. It's, a, it's not gonna happen. I don't want it. After it was revealed that the ending of Ghost Protocol saw Tom's character shifting to a desk job, the actor worked with director Christopher McQuarrie on a rewrite that changed the ending in the star's favor. According to Robert Elswit, McQuarrie worked to rewrite the ending, changing a few scenes and even reshooting some earlier scenes to keep Tom in the leading role for upcoming films. As the rumors of Renner's character taking on the leading role came about, the actor told MTV News that he was open to the possibility. He said, It's a franchise to potentially take over. I can't predict the future and what they want, but that's certainly the idea. While promoting the fourth installment, Renner said, If Paramount and Tom want me to do it, I'd be happy to be a part of it. I'd be up for it. Assuming my character doesn't croak. Ethan, you gotta get down here now. Although Renner revealed that before Tom Cruise had asked him to join the franchise, he wasn't keen on starring in multiple installments. At the time, he was already working on The Avengers, along with other projects such as Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. Still, thanks to Tom's personal invitation, Renner shared that Tom called him at home saying, Are we doing this? Come on, are we doing it? The star signed on for three Mission Impossible movies. It may have seemed impossible, but thanks to Tom Cruise's good relationship with the franchise director, his leading role was never written out. The actor can next be seen in Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, with, we can assume, Part 2 in the works. Would you still see the Mission Impossible films without Tom Cruise as the lead? It's hard to imagine, and luckily for fans, and Tom's ability to shake a few years of bad press, they don't have to.